Let's get started. I'm prepping my face with the Derma E Radiance Toner and the Organic Pharmacy Rose Moisturizer. Now, since the middle of my face is going to be covered in black, I'm only going to conceal the outer portions of my face. Done with the LA Girl Yellow Corrector, I'm concealing any spots or blemishes. Then with a really pale concealer and foundation, I'm going to prep the outer portions of my face. See, I told you it was super pale. I'm just using a beauty blender to get a really smooth and uniform finish. With the foundation, I'm kind of mapping out where the black stripe is going to be. Once that's done, I'm setting everything in place with the RCMA translucent powder. For any really pesky problem areas like pimples, I like to powder them down with a damp sponge. This will make sure that the powder really locks onto the concealer and foundation in that area. Now to highlight my face, I'm using the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette Volume 1. I'm starting off with the yellow color and just applying it on the high points of my face. I'm using an angled sponge to really define those cheekbones. Now I'm moving on to the white color so I get a brighter highlight. Now using the darker colors from that palette, I'm going to do some contouring. I really want to carve out my cheekbones. I'm going to be intensifying that contour with the Volume 2 palette. You'll want to bring that contour in the direction of your mouth to get it really, really deep and sunken in. Next, I tried using some tape to help with my lines. I never do this, I always freehand everything I do, but I decided to try it because why not? But I ended up regretting it and freehanding it in the end. But this is an idea if you don't feel comfortable freehanding lines. Notice how the tape has to be curved around my forehead for it to look straight when I'm looking straight on. Next, I'll be using Black Wolf Face Paint to fill in that gap. Just be careful around your eyebrows, you want to keep them clear of black paint. As you can see, I didn't stick the tape strongly onto my face because I didn't want it to peel away the foundation underneath, so I held on to the edges while I painted them to make sure that no paint would get underneath the tape. And yes, you'll have to paint in your nostrils too. Also be careful not to paint on your eyelids. I was careful to avoid areas where I knew I was going to be placing white. Ugh, see what I meant about regretting using the tape? The paint ended up going under the tape and messing up some of my foundation. But I just fixed it with a q-tip and some more foundation. Then I packed some powder on with my finger to make sure it was really well covered up. Then I switched over to a thin paintbrush so I could freehand the edges because I wasn't happy with how they looked. They were kind of messy and not really crisp and clean how I wanted. Now with a white wool face paint, I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm just using a small paintbrush for this. I applied more product towards the end of my eyebrows and mixed the white with the black at the beginning of the eyebrows to give a sort of faded effect. I also cleaned up using some of the black paint to make the edges really sharp. Next with Sugar Pills Bulletproof and a really small angled brush, I mapped out the rest of my eyebrow. Once I was happy with the shape, I went in with a black gel liner to really define and darken up the eyebrows. If you need to, clean up the lines with some foundation or concealer. Next, I packed on Sugar Pills Taco onto the white part of my eyebrows just to make them really, really white. For the base of the eyes, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Pencils in Milk and Black Bean. Make sure your lids are clean, sometimes the face paint will transfer. I applied the jumbo pencil on the inner half of my eyes. Then I used the black bean pencil around it so I could smudge the two together and start a nice fading effect. Under my eyes, I smudged the edges of the pencil with a brush. Then I set the pencil with Sugar Pills Taco. You want to back it on with a dense brush, not a fluffy one. Then to blend out the edges, I used a fluffy brush with some more taco packed on. Now to start defining my crease, I'm using some colors from the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette Volume 2. I'm using all the different gray colors and starting with the light ones and then gradually moving on to the darker ones. Just intensifying the crease and really blending it out between colors. And that was the Rihanna website letting me know it's my turn to check it out. So I'm going to do that real quick because Fenty Beauty just dropped. Yeah, so I filmed this a while ago, and it was when Fenty Beauty dropped, and I was super excited, but I still haven't gotten anything from the collection. I know, don't kill me. 
So I did the same thing with a black pencil. I blended out the edges using a brush. Then I set it with Sugar Pills Bulletproof. I used an angled brush to really define that line where the white and the black meet. Then I packed it on with a dense brush. I'm doing the same steps on the bottom lash line. Now time for drawing the lines. I'm using some of that white face paint again. And you'll see here that the lines look crooked, but when I look up at the camera, they look straight. You'll have to choose the angle you want in the final image and make sure they look straight in that final pose. I do little dots before committing to drawing a line to make sure that I'm placing things in the right height and in the right place. You'll have to go in with multiple layers of the white to make sure it's really opaque. And I'm sure you might have to fix some lines along the way, so just go back in with a black face paint to clean up any edges you might need to. See here I placed a dot just to see where the middle of my forehead was and then I drew the middle under my nose and then just kind of connected everything together. And you can see that this is kind of messed up so I had to go back and fix it. I had to finesse most of the lines on my face to be honest. Now for the outer portion of these little circles I'm just going back in with some black face paint. Now for the lashes. Oh man, I love these lashes. They are Sugar Pill Lullaby Lashes, and they are gorgeous. I am just painting the outer half with some white face paint and letting it dry. Now comes the kind of freaky part, and it's the black tooth enamel. You'll need some paper to hold back your lips. Now that you look silly, get some cotton and dry off your teeth. Your teeth have to be really dry so that the enamel sticks to them. And that's basically it, just paint on your teeth. After I'm done painting them, I usually breathe through my mouth and fan them a bit to help the enamel dry faster. Did the same thing on my bottom teeth. And you'll see here that I didn't dry them enough, so the enamel is just kind of bleeding everywhere. And you don't want that. You just want the enamel on your teeth. That's why your teeth have to be really, really dry. You might have to pick out some paper or cotton that got stuck in your lips, but that's about it. Once that was done, I went back in and fixed the paint around my lips. Now you might not notice a difference, but I put in fully black contacts. I just thought it gave a creepier vibe to the look. Then I put on the lashes and some mascara on the inner portion of my bottom lash. I painted the outer half with a face paint. I lined my waterline with both black and white. I intensified the white lashes with some milk jumbo pencil and then some more face paint. And that's it. The look is done. Oh wait, just be sure to powder it with some more translucent powder. The face paint can get a little shiny. I really hope you guys like this look. If you happen to recreate it, please tag me and let me know. I'd love to see it. I know I'm starting late, but this is the first of a few Halloween videos I've got planned for you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, please hit that button and stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Bye!